June 2016 brings us the 15th European Championship football competition. It is a major event in the long history of this sport. But what other episodes have shaped the beautiful game? Here we take a look at eight things that marked the history of football. Watch out for the corner and goal! Everyone knows what UEFA and FIFA are, but the very first football association, the FA, was created in England in 1863. For centuries, football was played in the streets and schools with no universally accepted rules. And when teams from different counties played together, chaos ensued. That's why 11 London football clubs and school representatives gathered on the 26th of October 1863 at the Freemasons Tavern on Great Queen Street in London to create the FA. We could say that this was the beginning of modern football. During World War I, women took on many jobs and tasks in society that they couldn't do before. The famous munitionettes who worked in munition factories started playing informal kickabouts, encouraged by factory managers because it kept the morale high and their fitness up. Teams started emerging, games were used to raise money for charity, and the Munitionettes Cup was established in 1917. Female football games became very popular, reaching a peak on Boxing Day in 1920 when 53,000 spectators watched a game in Goodison Park. However, when the war ended, women were forced back into domestic life, and although many football teams continued playing for a while, the golden era of women's football reached its end when the FA deemed football unsuitable for females on the 5th of December 1921. This ban wasn't lifted until 1971, and it determined the course of female football forever. On the 28th of April 1923, King George V opened the British Empire Exhibition Stadium, also known as Old Wembley. The iconic stadium was built for the British Empire Exhibition of 1924, however it soon became the Cathedral of Football, as Pelle once called it. The Twin Towers, as it was nicknamed, hosted the annual FA Cup five European Cup Finals, the 1948 Summer Olympics, the 1966 World Cup Final and the final of the 1996 Euros. Old Wembley was demolished in 2003 to build the current new Wembley, but many members of the public were very upset when the two emblematic towers were demolished. Football was the first team sport to be included as an Olympic discipline. That's right, the first Olympic Games in Athens did not feature the beautiful game. And in the following two Olympics, football appeared only as an exhibition sport. But in the 1908 London Games, finally football debuted as a medal sport for men. That year, England's Olympic football team won one of its two gold medals. It was the 1958 World Cup in Sweden when the world discovered the revolution of Garincha, Zagallo, Didi and, most notably, Edson Arentes de Nascimento, aka Pele. Football lovers around the world enjoyed the tactical revolutions of a new 4-2-4, but mainly discovered samba football, a style based on technical virtuosity with the ball. The 1958 Brazilian win in Stockholm marked the beginning of Brazil's hegemony for over four decades, making it the most frequent World Cup winner to this day. The Busby Babes was the term used to refer to the Manchester United players who won two consecutive Premier Leagues from 1955 to 57. However, this team became famous for the Munich air disaster. On the fringe of a Munich airport lies the wreckage of an airliner still smouldering from a crash in which 21 people were killed. Tragedy enough at any time. But in that plane were a group of young men who were almost the personal friends of millions. Manchester United, the finest soccer team Britain has produced since the war. And seven of them died in the crash. Ten others, as well as their famous manager, Matt Busby, were injured. Total football was the name given to describe the influential tactical theory in which any outfield player can take over the role of any other player in a team. This label, Total Football, is mainly used to refer to the tactics of the Netherlands national football team. The foundations for Total Football were laid by Jack Reynolds, British manager of Amsterdam's Ajax. Dutch forward and football legend Johan Cruyff was the system's most famous exponent. The one and only time that England has won the World Cup was in the 1966 competition held in England. Bobby Moore and Bobby Charlton, 
Gordon Banks and Jeff Hurst. They marked a whole generation of English football fans when they raised the cup in the old Wembley Stadium.